Hey guys, I'm Mark Geek. In this video, I wanted to share a little bit more information about the Steam Deck for those that have been watching my videos. And I did my unboxing video. I did my hands-on first video. And I up have uploaded a couple videos already when it comes to gameplay. But I haven't shared with you guys the things that you can actually do with the device. Uh, because this is not only a gaming device. This is also a, a PC. This is a PC running Linux as well and you can make it you could do things that you would do on your on, on a normal pc so i wanted to share with that here in this video uh just to let you see the things that i'm using you know for this purposes uh right now i'm using this keyboard which is the keyboard that i use for my computer and what i love about this keyboard this is the corsair k83 i think it is i love it because i could connect this to the tv and use these right here, you know, these um, things right here, these buttons, and like you see right there, it's connected, and I can actually control the volume for the system by just doing this right here. And I can also use this as my, you know, my, uh, my mouse if I want to, and I can hook up this device to three other devices. So I ha have it hooked up to the Steam Deck, to my laptop when I connect it to my computer, and to my TV as well. So I have it connected to three devices at the same time. And for the mouse, for better precision, I always still prefer to use a, a mouse over that little um, pad right there. Uh, this is the MX Anywhere 2, which I love. And what I love also about it is that you can hook it up to three devices at the same time. And right now I have it connected here, and I have it connected to my laptop as well. So when I'm doing my video editing and all that and you can see there yeah also works right here so what we're going to do here is i'm going to zoom in better so we can see a better view of the screen okay so here we are with a better view so one thing that i wanted to show you guys is that when you press this and hold and um tap right here right you can uh, see the keyboard uh that's a very cool feature there you see there now i have another another different keyboard there you click like that, you disappear. If you need to take a screenshot like of an image or something on the screen, you can also press this and the L1 button, and it will take a screenshot. Like you see right there, it took a screenshot of the of this of this right here, and that's it. Another thing is, uh, some people ask me how the hell you did the keyboard thing. It's very easy. You just go ahead here to keyboard. Uh, right now, um, you could go ahead here since i pre-order it i guess um, they gave us a free keyboards so right now if i switch here i can see the keyboard there look at that a very cool white and nice looking keyboard uh, i also got the um, da -da -da, steam green this one right here looks very nice and uh, let's see i also got this one which i i got with my points which I really love. I love how that one looks. That looks really cool right there. Um, and of course, they also, you can also use the points that you earn. Visit here, point shops. If you click point shops, it takes you to, it's basically like a store where you buy stuff to customize your, your, you know, your profile and all that. So here you can also use those points to actually purchase uh, key point, um, keyboards. So if I tap right here, uh, let me see which keyboard you can actually see the image of the keyboard if i tap right there that one looks really cool right click right there purchased it and i want to equip now boom i equip it now so i'm using my points that i've earned so let's go back and if i go back over here look at that very nice beautiful nice looking keyboard so i'm going to leave that right there and basically that's it now let's go and switch to desktop mode which is the pc version of this so there's two ways you can actually access you could step right here tap right here right tap and you go right here the power and go to the switch to desktop right or you can tap and hold the power button right let's go and tap and hold the power button and change switch to desktop either or you could do so it's going to click right there, click right there, and it's going to take a couple seconds before it actually loads up, and voila, it's loaded up. Like, see there, very cool background. Uh, this is not the default background that you get with the system when you first um, load it up. Uh, the background, you can actually click right here. You got, if you tap and hold, right, I'm using the mouse right now. I don't want to use my fingers on the screen. Um, I could go ahead here, uh, change my 
desktop uh, wallpaper. The default wallpaper that comes here is, uh, let me see, it's, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. it's this one right here. So if I apply it, this is what you're gonna get the first time you log in. The first time you log into this computer, so or to switch to desktop mode, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this um like dark blue with this wallpaper there, and that's it. So um, also cool thing here is that you can also apply widgets. If you tap right here, there's a couple of widgets you can also apply there, like a, a activity pager, a clock, analog clock, activity that. Uh, one thing that I like is putting a calculator. So I want if I want to put this calculator right here, I could just drag it over here. Boom. Oh, is that too small? Yeah, I think I could make it bigger. Oop, nope. Make it bigger. There you go. And I think I could go ahead and put the calculator right there. I love having a calculator there as a widget. But there's a whole bunch of more widgets here. You could put like a digital clock. If you want to put the digital clock, you use this one here as well. You got a digital clock right there or right here in the middle. Let's go put it right there in the middle. Digital clock. Voila, that's it. So it has a lot of cool widgets here that you can actually use. And this is actually work. It works really good. So let's go and click that out, right? Click this out, close this. Yep, so you can use the keyboard. See, you could use the calculator perfectly good. Awesome, there you go. Totally workable. Here you can also see the calendar and all that. Um, this is the Steam uh, store from, this is basically the desktop version that you get like in your PC. You can see it right here, you, the store and everything is right there. Um, let's go and close. Um, here you got settings settings for the, the this computer um, if you're familiarized to windows and all that you're going to be familiarized to here because you could do a lot of changes here the same things you could do like with windows and all that um here you got the this is the application uh, oh this is like a little store discover it's basically like a little application store that you could get stuff and this is where you're going to get the chrome browser that you see right here i, I downloaded the chrome browser and right now, for example, if you need the Edge browser, which is uh, is going to be needed for um, PlayStation, um, not PlayStation, but Xbox um, Game Pass. So you just tap right there, right? We got it right there. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Let's go ahead and install. So we go ahead and install, and that's it. So there's a lot of applications here that you can download. Like, for example, if you want to uh, uh, photo editing, application you could just click photo there it'll start searching and it's going to show you guys a lot of photo editing applications you could use let's go and close this right close that uh, you got file manager so file manager is basically uh file manager but this is called dolphin right here so you got home you got desktop you got documents your downloads so if you download something here for example if i downloaded this right here Right, this picture, I can open it up. There you go. So I open up that picture right here. And I could go ahead and photo edit all this if I want. This is an application that I downloaded. Um, I think it's called, I forgot the name of it. But yeah, it's a photo application that you can download. You can see a full screen. I can also switch to other pictures that I have in my gallery there. Exit full screen. And of course, you can edit it if you want. There's a lot of things you could do. This card changes. And so on, so on. So you, if you downloaded videos, they're going to be right here. If you got pictures, they're going to be right here. Your trash right there. And so on, so on. Right? Um, you also got, of course, this is the browser that's uh, activated by itself. Uh, this is the Chrome browser, which I downloaded. And you got it works really damn awesome. And I prefer to see YouTube through this browser because uh, it's it's really nice and smooth. So I prefer to use it on YouTube from there. Um, here you got the Steam. You can see the Steam games right here that you have installed on your on your console, and a lot of shortcuts for like friends and all that. Clipboard. You got the volume. You can control the volume for a lot of things here for uh, applications for devices you have connected like speaker, headphones, and all that. Um, here is a uh, battery and brightness. You can control battery and brightness right there. Um, here you got Bluetooth devices. So I got my NF MX Anywhere Bluetooth here. And my Xbox wireless controller is also hooked up here as well. And my Corsair 
X um, K83 keyboard right there. So that's very cool. If you want to add a device, you just click right here, the add device, and that's it. It's going to appear here. And so you just make sure your device is in parry mode and it's going to appear right there. And just like, you know, it's very familiar, very, very self-explanatory, just like you would on Android phone or computer. Uh, you got most recent devices here. Um, here you got your Wi-Fi. You need to connect to your Wi-Fi right there. Um, here is uh, status and notifications, notification updates. Click right there. Should show you guys that there's any update for the system. And check for updates. There might be updates for applications or for the system itself. But right now, I believe it's up to date. Yeah, it's up to date. So we click quick right there. Uh, let's see what else you got here. You got the calendar, and you got this right here, which hides the desktop. That's it. So there you go. Those are the things you could do there. Like, like I say, if you want to switch the wallpaper, tap right there. Add widget, configure desktop, global theme. Uh, global theme. I haven't tried that yet, but I believe global theme will actually change absolutely everything. You know, so if you want to go like oxygen, it will actually change. Let me see. Bum, bum, bum. After apply. There you go. So it should change. Yeah, it should change how everything actually looks. Look at that. Even the widget changes. This changes. Uh, this is the application section changes. Very nice. But, you know, I prefer the dark theme. I actually prefer the dark theme. Vapor. You got vapor. Breeze. Breeze. Oxygen. Triangle. There's a lot of themes there. Dun -dun. Apply. Black. Very cool looking there. Awesome. And of course, if I switch over here, tap and hold again, and let's go and change the wallpaper. I really like the wallpaper that I had. There's a lot of old wallpapers here you can get, or of course, you can go ahead to your favorite website and download whatever wallpaper you want. You can do that if you want. But right now, I really like how this one actually looks. Apply. Oh, and that's it. Very beautiful. Just like that. And um, that's it, guys. So that's all the things you can do here. I just wanted to share with you guys because I, I've been only sharing with you um, just gameplay on the system, hands-on of the um, Steam OS without the desktop. But now you get to see that this is more than a gaming console. This is basically a mini portable PC uh, running Linux instead of Windows. Um, that's why you that's why you have to go through a whole bunch of hoops and loops when you want to download like uh, PC launchers like Epic, Ubisoft Connect, Origin. If you want to download all those stuff, you got to go through hoops and loops, which there's a whole bunch of tutorial videos on YouTube. Um, that's the reason why, because this is running Linux, not Windows. Uh, of course, I can actually connect it here if I have a have the cable like you see here on the video i can actually connect a cable the, the, and connect it to my monitor if i want to actually use it on a big monitor and it works really damn good it looks perfectly just as good as it looks here on the small screen on the big screen which is right now i have it connected there to a 32 inch 4k screen and it looks pretty damn good remember this spec wise this computer mini computer is capable of running good on the big screen so yeah you're not gonna have a problem with that connecting this to a big monitor and other than that guys that's it so if you want to switch back to gaming mode or to the normal mode uh, you just click right here or i think you can also click here let me see i don't think you can no just just click right there and it'll take you automatically back to steam os which is where we normally you know play our video games from it's going to wait for that. It's going to take a little bit. Da, 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 da. And of course, like I said, these are, I'll leave links in my description for these the mouse and the keyboard if you want. And that's it. That's it. We're back here and we could go ahead and start playing our video games here. And voila, we got our Steam OS running nice and beautiful there. Really cool. Love it. So far, I've been loving this device. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it. Till next time. Bye-bye.